the equities market can shift rapidly. Do you have the tools to quickly sort through a sea of data and make informed decisions? I'll give you a hint, you do, with the Bloomberg Terminal on your side. Welcome back to Terminal Essentials, a series that gives you a look at key features of the Bloomberg Terminal so you can navigate it with confidence. I'm Ryan. Today, I want to give you a taste of how to explore the equities market with Bloomberg Terminal functions. We'll look at functions that give you explorable summaries of equity indices and interday price changes. That way, you always know where the market stands. The terminal is also a valuable idea generation tool. So we'll take a look at ways of discovering equities from a couple of different angles. And you'll probably want fundamentals and estimates to make smart decisions with all the information you've learned. You'll find many ways to access that key data. If you're looking for a specific kind of function, use the chapter feature on YouTube to move ahead to the appropriate section. Otherwise, let's get started. Let's start by looking at the market as a whole. WEI Go, or World Equity Indices, helps you know at a glance how equity indices are performing. At the main screen, we can see a summary of key data across major indices, like the S&P 500 in the Americas, or the DAX in Germany. Take a look at these spark charts, which show how prices have behaved in the last two days. There's also a value column that reflects the spot price of the index, as well as columns for net change and percent change. Like many things on the terminal, more detail is only a click away. If I wanna investigate what's happening with the DAX today, I only have to click on that row. Now we're in the market overview function. You could also get here by running IMAP Go. This gives us a breakdown of the index's intraday performance. It shows this arranged by sector in chart and table formats, side by side. You can see by the color coding which sectors are doing well today and which ones are underperforming. I could click through to that section of the chart to see it broken down into GIX subsectors. Because we launched this function by clicking on the DAX in the World Equities Index function, that's what loaded by default but we can load any index or a composite of all securities by searching in the top left amber bar. The terminal makes idea generation more efficient by helping you follow hunches and discover connections in surprising ways. With natural language processing built into the terminal commands line, you could just input a request. Let's look for car makers in Europe with a market cap over 20 billion. Once we hit go, we see our search results. Let's click on the equity screening option here at the top. Now we're in EQS Go, which lets you set parameters and narrow down a universe of equities. All of the things we've searched for appear in a list in the main panel, but there are other popular EQS criteria templates you could explore to the left. From here, we could add more criteria for our search for European car makers, but we've already narrowed down the field to six options. So let's click through using the See Results button in the bottom right. This has brought us to the Watchlist Analytics function, which lets us analyze a collection of securities through many lenses. Along the top, we can see averages for the entire basket. But if there's different metrics you wanna see, use the custom column at the top to build your own data table based on hundreds of possible fields. Now go build the security universe of your dreams. At this point, you've got a few easy ways to conduct basic top-down analysis on equities. Now, let's look at some bottom-up approaches, which start with a single company. Let's do a bit of research on Volkswagen's performance relative to its peers. We could do this in the Relative Valuation function, or RVGO. This function acts like a summary of data about a company and its peers. You can change or customize the peer set you're comparing against with the amber bar in the top left. I said that the relative valuation function works like a summary of data. That's because we could use it to click into other functions quickly. Maybe you're feeling like you're onto a good idea and it's time to learn about the company's fundamentals. If I click on the related functions menu, we could open up our loaded security in FA Go, the financial analysis function. When you launch FA, the default screen shows key stats like the market cap, revenue, gross profit, and so on for each fiscal year. We can explore more than the key stats with these tabs across the top of the function screen. 
Here's how you get to information like income statements, balance sheets, cash flows, and more. FA can even create useful charts when you click the little blue graph button next to any line item. Now we can see that data charted over time and even add other information on top by clicking their checkboxes. The data in FA is fully transparent. Notice that there are differently colored numbers here. Amber ones are reported from company filings. Gray numbers are estimates. You can click any of the numbers to understand its source. We can explore the components of this number here. These document icons are linked to the exact place where the number was sourced. See, the number is highlighted in context, right from an income statement disclosure document from Volkswagen. This saves a lot of time and manual research. To access other filings like this and sort through 200 million company documents with the power of AI, explore DSCO Go or Company Document Search. So far, we've looked at a lot of tools with historical views of inequity, but what about how they'll perform in the future? We can't know for sure, but we can see what the company itself predicts and what experts have to say on the matter. Here's one of the easier functions to remember. If you want to know earnings and estimates, you just type in EEGO. Easy. By default, EE shows estimates for key metrics in the coming quarter, EPS, revenue, net income, operating profit, and EBITDA. Each one is accompanied by the four-week change, as well as the number of times the company has beat their own estimates in the past eight announcements. Well, now we know what Volkswagen estimates for itself, but what's the word on the street? The consensus overview function, EEO Go, shows you a Bloomberg estimate based on analyst estimates. We could click on this section to go to a function with more information about recent and future consensus estimates. But instead, let's click just to the right on analyst recommendations. This takes us to ANR Go, which lets us see recommendations from all contributing firms and their analyst research on our selected company. Crunch for time? Take a look to the top left, where there is a consensus rating out of five that shows if analysts are recommending to buy, hold, or sell. More detailed information lives down below. Notice the number of sources showing out of the total available. If an analyst hasn't updated their recommendations in the past month, it's excluded from the data set, and you'll see it in gray in the list. Want more analyst insights? At Bloomberg, we've got our own team of over 400 research professionals. We call that program Bloomberg Intelligence, and you've got it at your fingertips via BI Go. Bloomberg Intelligence gives you exclusive access to reports on over 2,000 companies across 135 industries and 21 markets. It's a valuable way to get up to speed on the latest details when working with equities. We've covered a lot today. So don't forget that at any time, you can click the question mark in the top right of a function to learn more about how it works. You can also press the help key twice to open a 24 seven live support chat with our product experts. For more Terminal Essentials videos like these, subscribe to this channel. We can't wait to see you soon. Bye.